वेलकम व्यूवर्स ऑन जी डॉट मैथ अकेडमी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द सर्फिस एरिया अबाउट द कम्बाइन ऑब्जेक्ट्स इफ़ यू लुक एट हीयर वी आर गिवन द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गिवन द कम्बिनेशन ऑफ थ्री ऑब्जेक्ट विच इज़ कॉन सिलेंडर एंड हेमिसफियर नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड द सर्फिस एरिया ऑफ दैम सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज़ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन uh we are going to find the formula of the total surface area of this object uh, if you look at here this is the curve part of the uh, cone this is the curve part of the uh, cylinder and this is the curve part of the hemisphere but the circular part of this because in the question it mentioned total surface area and uh, some student make a mistake what the normally make a mistake they take the total surface area formula of the cone and the total surface area formula for the cylinder and total surface area of the hemisphere uh, hemisphere but the point is uh, the uh, the circular part uh, of the cone uh, which is the area of the circle uh, pi r square it is uh, included in the uh, circular part of the uh in the circle of the cylinder and also the bottom circle of the cylinder uh, included in the uh, top uh, of the hemisphere so that's why ignore all these parts uh, what the student normally make a uh, uh, make a mistake so only take the part which is uh, the curve part of the cone curve part of the uh, cylinder and curve part of the hemisphere so after that adding all the curve parts of the uh, surface area of the different object then add them you'll find the surface area of the uh the complete object so uh, first of all i'm taking the uh, curve part of the cone which is pi r l uh, we know that the uh, pi uh, r is the radius uh, we given here because the height of the hemisphere also called the radius of the hemisphere so if this is the radius uh, which is the hemisphere and this is also the radius uh, hemisphere so it means this becomes the radius of the cone and the cylinder as well now uh, we we are given the vertical height which is 12 cm uh, vertical height is 12 cm so take uh, l uh, we need to find the slant height we, as we use here in the curve part so l equal because uh, perpendicular height on the radius becomes the right angle triangle so this become a right angle triangle so this is the slant height which is the hypotenuse of this uh, cone part so uh, 12 square plus 5 square take a square you find the 12 cm now uh, uh sorry 13 cm so 13 cm multiply here in the formula slant height to simplify it becomes 65 pi so i'm writing in just uh, terms of pi so at then i can uh, i will multiply now find the curve of the area of the cylinder <clears throat> so curve of the area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h which is equal to 2 pi and uh, r uh we are given the 5 and the height of the cylinder is 10 simplify multiply them 10 times 5 times 2 equal 100 pi now find the uh, curve surface area of the hemisphere which is equal uh, 2 pi r square we know that the sphere uh, the uh, surface area of the sphere is uh, 4 pi r square so because it's a hemisphere so divided by 2 so it becomes 2 pi r square so r equal 5 5 square multiply them it becomes 50 pi okay so add all these add all these uh, area, uh, area curves of the areas then simplify you find the answer uh, 675 cm uh, square so uh, this is uh, the uh, object of this one okay now uh, next question we are given uh, uh, the prism we need to find the surface area of it so uh there are different uh, method to solve this question but i take uh, one method on one of them so i divide the uh, shape in different parts and different rectangular parts like the first i say this is the l shape this is the l shape which is i say one and uh, the front l shape and the bottom l shape the back side l shape are the same thing so one and two then after that labeling the name label them three and this way is 4 this is 5 this is 6 and the back side is 7 and the bottom side is 8 now separately i'm going to find out areas of all uh, the rectangular part or if there is a square whatsoever so i'm just taking them separately so i'm going to solve separately so uh, i took the first of all the l uh, part of this shape the front one so this is l so we know the total height of this l is 8 and the bottom is 6 and uh, this object is 3 so this is 
so if i cut the object from here it becomes three here so uh, this is three this is six when we multiply it becomes 18 and when i cut from here so this is total is eight eight uh, uh, cut it by three it becomes uh, uh, five so five left so we have here with this two uh, and the height of this rectangle which is five five times two equal ten so i add this plus this i can get 28 so this is the area of uh, uh, this l in the front 28 centimeter square but at the back side also the same so i'm taking the area of the uh, one and two area of one and two so 28 plus 20 equal 56 which become uh, 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 56 centimeter square now number three this is 10 this is three three times 10 equal 30 number four because when you cut from here so it cut two comes here so but uh, part left it's four left so four here they are same so it becomes four here so four this is 10 so four times 10 equal 40 centimeter square number five when you cut from here the object cut from here so it means this cut the height of this three so this becomes a three and uh, because total is eight so three cut it down so only five centimeter left so five and we know this length is 10 so five times 10 equal 50 centimeter square okay now uh, number six uh, this is the top on the number six this is 10 and this is two tens times two equal uh, uh, 20 centimeter number seven which is the back side number seven which is the back side and this complete length is eight and this length is 10 centimeter so 10 times eight equal 80 centimeter so go for the bottom in the bottom this is six centimeter this is 10 centimeter so six times 10 uh, give you the bottom uh, area so it becomes 60. so if you add all these uh, uh, label areas so you will get get the total surface area so 56 plus 30 plus uh, 40 so if you add all them uh, if you add all them so 50 60 40 50 20 80 60 so you will get 336 centimeter square so this is the total surface area of uh, this object okay in the next part Uh, in the next part we are given uh, this object and this object again I labeled the different part of the object uh, I took this uh, uh, the front U shape somehow so I say the one uh, and uh, definitely the back side also is the same which is I say the two and uh, the back uh, the uh, from this side from this back side it is uh, three so on the bottom side I label is four this is five this is six seven eight nine and under this one under this one uh, this part under this part it is ten so I'm fine starting with the front uh, u-shape then I uh, because the front and the back are the same so uh, I add them so I can get the answer from there now uh, in this part uh, we are, we know that this is the 12 centimeter and this is 12 centimeter as we mentioned here and the height of it is 2 centimeter so this is 2 centimeter this is the 12 centimeter I cut the shape from here so 2 times uh, 12 equal 24 centimeter square so if I cut from here also this is 2 and this is 8 8 times 2 equals 16 so when you cut it down 2 here 2 here 8 left here and this is also 2 equal so either uh, this is also 2 2 times 8 equals 16 so add these three areas so you will find 56 centimeter of this object okay now uh, find the rest of the areas uh, like uh, uh, I just uh, because this is the uh, area of the front shape uh, this one uh, the bottom or uh, the back side also the same so uh, one area uh, one uh, object one and object two uh, one is 56 second also 56 total become 112 centimeter square now uh, find number three number three here so whatever the label you can go uh, this is what I made the order you can change the order doesn't matter we, we uh, the point is we need to find out the area what we uh, required from here uh, total surface area now this length is 12 okay and uh, this length is 8 so 12 times 8 equal 96 centimeter square uh, number 4 is the bottom this length is 12 and this length is 8 so 8 times 12 again uh, 96 centimeter so object number 5 this is 5 this is 8 and this is 2 8 times 2 equal uh, 16 8 times 2 equals 16 centimeter square object number 6 this is object number 6 so this length is 8 this length is 8 and this mention here and this mention here is 4 this mention here 4 
okay <clears throat> this mention here four uh, sorry ten this mention here ten here so uh, number six so uh, eight and uh, this is eight this is ten ten times eight equal eighty centimeter square number seven this is number seven this is eight and this is also eight because these all the objects are in the front of that is all eight centimeters so this is eight this is eight this is eight this is eight 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 so this is also eight times eight equal sixty four centimeter square uh, object number eight this is object number eight the uh, side of eight so uh, this uh, is eight and this is two eight times two equal sixteen number nine uh, this is eight this is also a eight times eight equal sixty four okay now uh, uh, number ten which is the under uh, of eight which is the under of eight uh, so uh, if you cut the object from here it is uh, two uh, because the object is so what left because total is six uh, six uh, uh, cut it uh, eight cut it down by two and left six so we know this length is eight and this length is six left so six times eight equal sixty uh, forty eight six times eight equal forty eight add them you'll find the answer which is equal five hundred ninety two centimeter square okay this is the total surface area of this object okay uh, please uh, whenever you solve this question pay attention to simplify because uh, somehow a little bit uh, technical questions and uh, in the next uh, part uh, which is the last part of this uh, sheet okay so in this part we are given the triangular part and uh, and uh, this is the rectangle the combination of triangle and rectangle so if you look at here we are given triangle at the uh, uh, front and uh, definitely its uh, length also the same is become the triangle of the back same so if you find the area of the first front triangle so uh, the same triangle also uh, the same area so add them you find the rest of the area so this is one and this is two so i'm finding the area of the triangle which is base time height so height of the triangle is four and base of the triangle is six so six times four divided by two so we will get 12 centimeters square so front triangle and the back triangle so they are same so add the uh, area of the two triangles so one triangle 12 and other triangle 12 because they are same so 12 plus 12 equal 24 centimeter square now uh, uh, this is the rectangle part and obviously the this side also the rectangle which is uh, this one <coughs> this one the other side so if this is 10 centimeter and this is 5 centimeter so uh, 10 times 5 uh, it becomes uh, 50 because uh, 1 here 1 here so I'm just directly multiplying by 2 so it becomes a uh, 2 rectangles so 2 times 5 times time uh, 5 times 10 so it becomes 100 centimeter uh, square okay uh, so uh, uh, in the bottom part this is the bottom part uh, in the bottom this one this one this is the bottom rectangle so which is the width is 6 and the length is uh, of 10 because this is 10 this is also 10 so 6 times 10 multiply it becomes 60 so only one rectangle because the bottom is the one rectangle so 6 times 10 is 60 if you add all these uh, areas of the given of uh, uh, shapes uh, so 24 plus 100 124 plus 60 so 184 centimeter square <clears throat> so this is the total surface area of this object hope uh, uh, you will get the benefit uh, 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 from this worksheet and this worksheet helpful helpful for you uh, to find out the solution about uh, area total surface area of the uh, composite shape okay so make a practice about them so if you have uh, any uh, any concern about this type of a question please uh, don't hesitate to uh, uh, give the comments uh, in the comment box uh, if you uh, have any problem if you like the video please uh, share it and uh, uh, like uh, uh, the video and uh, <clears throat> if you have any concern any kind of a concern about any question uh, regarding this and except other one so you can inbox me uh, in the comments uh, comment section thank you very much